SMT Nation, we back. Nation, big news out of T-Mobile. Uh, they finally did it. It looks like they are one step closer to actually having satellite to cellular connectivity. Uh, big news dropped today at the launch of the SpaceX Falcon. I'll be sure to drop the story link for you. It'll be in the description. Ways to support us can be found there as well. All right. So details on the story. Uh, the first satellites that actually have the hardware and capability to connect cellular devices to these satellites. Uh, SpaceX, the provider, Starlink, the name of the service. For those of you that know the name, that's uh, Elon in them. And you've got six of these um, satellites that have the hardware enabled on them for T-Mobile's cellular connectivity needs. Right, so uh, I think six of the 21 are going to be specifically for that purpose. Amongst other things, they got all types of hardware on these things. Uh, but the launch uh, took place uh, just recently, I, th I think, what was it yesterday or last night or something like that? I don't know, it was late. Uh, but very, very cool stuff. So what this does for us as customers, whether you're a T-Mobile customer or you're a customer of like Verizon or AT&T, that's the new thing, right? Being able to have backup connectivity with cellular uh, being offered you know, whether you have terrestrial coverage, like the standard cell towers, or you need some kind of like a backup with something like this. It's very cool. We know that the iPhones can do it. We know that Android can do it too. Now we just need the networks to be uh, supporting it, which is what T-Mobile is achieving with this. So this is going to be huge. Uh, I think at this point, it, it's going to be testing initially now that they're going to have it up and operational. Uh, so they'll be doing the testing. And then, I don't know, sometime within the calendar year, you guys will see this connecting to your devices should you need it uh it probably won't be a toggle right or something you could switch on just because it's going to be a situation where you literally don't have coverage you're out in the middle of um i don't know biloxi or something and there's no cell coverage from t-mobile you'll have this and then of course verizon's got something going on with keeper whipper and then uh at&t's got something going on with asts so all that put together this will be the first one that you guys catch news of that's like public, but I can tell you that ASTS and AT&T are pretty far ahead in their work as well. Uh, the Verizon side is a little bit more quiet as kept. Uh, we know a little bit less about that. So, but this is really exciting. Uh, there are probably some T-Mobile customers super psyched about this, especially those that live in some really extended areas of the U.S. or even folks that travel outside of the U.S., right? So um, I'm guessing calling and texting will be pretty easy and simple to do. The data sessions will be a little bit more challenging. Not sure if you'll have enough bandwidth for that at this time, but exciting development, guys. Really, really exciting. Uh, but but tell me what you guys think of all this. Sound off in the comment section below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.